hi welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to make those diy mouse mirrors and i'm gonna explain more throughout the video but this is what i got i got this broken wardrobe mirror door um it broke while my moving process and i almost threw it away but now i'm gonna use it for this project and then i have um mouse that i make i will insert how i make it after this and then i have this coconut fiber and i dyed them with some acrylic paint and food coloring into different greens and then i let them dry in the dye so that's how they become this green color and then i have some fake flowers that i had forever and then i have like some branches sticks all those stuff that I picked up in the woods and then I have glue and I have of course my hot glue gun and then I have this mushrooms that I also will insert how I made them as you can see this mirror is pretty broken so I came across this um, YouTube videos or TikTok trend what do people make those moss mirrors from pretty beautiful mirrors like Victorian styles mirrors and then they put some fake moss on it and make it even cuter I remember that I have this broken door and I almost threw it away and Maybe you think you should throw it away. It's already trash and I know that but I'm one of those persons who like Always think oh you can keep it you can fix it you can make something good out of it So basically I'm a hoarder and now I'm gonna use this door Okay, here's how I make the fake moss. First, I bought some very cheap um, sponge with very big pores and I just cut them in a little pieces and put them in the blender and then just blended them. In a bowl, I made a mixture out of acrylic paint, green acrylic paint and food coloring and then I added my blended sponge into it and let it soak so it absorbs the green color here i have some mushrooms that i already made yesterday and i'm going to show you they are already dried because i let them dry in the sun this morning but i'm going to show you how i make them so this is pretty easy you only use need some aluminum foil i'm just gonna be a little bit loud and then you have to tear it apart and shape it into a mushroom like this for example it's quite up to you how you want to shape them because mushrooms come comes in every different size and shape so you cannot really make it wrong so and then you fold it around like this so you have some aluminium foil left to make the stamp So you have the top of the mushroom like this and then you create the stem for it that's simple and then just do like this and there you go you have your mushroom shape so with this method you don't really need much um, of your clay and i'm using my cold porcelain clay my homemade cold porcelain clay you can really get a lot of mushroom with a little bit of clay because we are using the aluminium foil in the inside so here i have some clay colors that i mix clay that i mix with acrylic paint basically um so for the top i'm going to use this brown and then just push it onto the mushroom head like this and then pull it around and push it on the inside too to cover all the alu foil and then you start to smooth them out all the surfaces from the mushroom top and the bottom and now i'm going to use my little fruit kitchen knife and give it some mushroomy texture underneath And now I'm gonna make the stamp. I have some like broken off-white that I mixed for the stamp. 
then I'm gonna push it under aluminium foil the same as I did with the mushroom head and now I'm going to paint all my dried mushrooms so they already are colored because I used colored clay but still I'm going to add some details and some shading so it looks better and more realistic right, so I'm gonna just like okay, give you some shading on the edges so it's not just one plain color because I don't think in nature they look like that just one plain color so I'm just trying to make it as close as possible to how they would look in nature and then adding some red to blend in the two colors so for the brown ones I'm going to add a little bit of dark brown here in the middle and kind of blend it in So now I covered my mirror so you don't have to see the reflection of the mirror and the mirror don't get any glue on the top of it. So the whole reason is the reflection. So I'm going to work on this area first. So here is a missing piece of the um, mirror and I'm going to, you know, put some stuff on it, some moss, some grass flowers and stuff maybe so it doesn't look that empty and then I will work on the white area on top of that So I just made a, a fast montage because it was just me gluing stuff on and uh, it is not that interesting. So I'm just finishing the montage and then you can see the final result. Here it is. Um, I had to record it outside because I don't want you to see my messy working room and the reflection. So yeah, this is how the final result is. I glue, just glued on all the stuff, the fake flowers, the mushrooms my fake grass and the moss and just just glue it together until it looks good and decent in my eyes and i'm pretty happy with the result considering how the door was looking before and how it looks now i'm really happy with it and as you can see as the, at the cracks i add some moss to um, hide the cracks and it looks good to me so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next video. Bye!